Friday the 7th of July. It's a really hot day, sweating already. England are playing later in the World Cup, talking World Cup. It's time to go and collect another Oyster Wallet for my collection. We've just come out the temporary entrance of Whitechapel Tube Station because where the original entrance was down here is being turned into a brand new entrance for the Crossrail Station, Elizabeth Line, which is what we come to see today. There's a nice man called Simon wearing an orange high visit. He works for Crossrail. Yeah. And he's told me that here, you see here, along here, along here, along here, along here, that's where the gate line is going to be. So I love talking about exits at these stations. Are there two exits at Whitechapel? Yes and no, because technically there's just, well not technically, but actually there's just the one gate line. But what happens is that the paved side is over there, you'll come to the gate line, I haven't put the gate line in yet, you'll come through and that will just lead you down those steps. There's two sets of eight steps, 16 steps in total. I assume there's a lift somewhere. And that takes you down to the original entrance as was. But at this point, you can do like an immediate 180 down here behind this bit that's covered up. And that takes you out to what street? Durwood Street. Durwood Street. So there is like a second way in, way out over there. Nice moving on the camera there, Simon. There's a second way in, way out to Durwood Street over there. So one gate line, but two entrances and exits. Is that right? Yep. Hey. Would you like to be in my video? What's your name? I'm Olaf. Hello, Olaf. <laughs> Who are you, give, sorry? I'm Jeff. Give me an amazing fact about Whitechapel that you wouldn't know just, you know, without your expert knowledge. Um, do you really work here? I do. I see. <laughs> You've worked building this station. Yeah. The roof's quite impressive. Um, yeah, did, green did, roof on the top, you know that though. What's, what's um, a green roof? Green roof um, is seed and, seed and plants. Uh, very good for the environment. Yeah. Good for insulation too. just been chatting to someone off camera over here and they've pointed out that these here are the escalators so these are the three main escalators down but there are 10 lifts at this station 10 lifts there's no inclinators there's no travel lators. it's so complicated getting to the overground which is at a different level to the underground as well as Crossrail Elizabeth itself 10 lifts are required a couple of them have just doubled up uh, for example um, the Royal Free Hospital is across the street uh, I think a lot of step free access is going to be needed for that so there's like two at least two main lifts which are just like doubling up but 10 lifts. Is that the most number of lifts at a TFL station? Could be. Anyway, gotta go count the steps. There we go. So that's 163, but we had to go up some and then down some. So, which way is westbound, which way is eastbound? So, westbound platform is for here, and then your eastbound is from here. There's no one here to tell me not to touch it this time. So I can get my eye. Oh, I've actually left a mark, sorry. Hi. So we come off the westbound platform, we've come to the cross passage again with the nice curvy bits. But look how wide it look how wide it is compared to Farringdon. Farringdon's cross passage wasn't as wide as that because here at Whitechapel there's only one way in, one way out, one exit, one gate line. At Farringdon there's exits either end, but here the exit has to be it's because the escalators are in the middle of the cross passage. Yeah, that's why. Hence it's wider. These will be the escalators that we saw at the top, here at the bottom. So there's three escalators. There must be a lift somewhere. Somewhere. Ten lifts, she said. Ten. There's a lot of lifts. 
Okay, I'm on the eastbound platform. I've got my press release, which is a bit tatty. It's been folded up in my pocket. I'm going to give you some key facts from the press release. Whitechapel has a brightly lit and large ticket hall. It is step three, as you would expect, from street to platform. Those long platforms are 240 metres long. It has bright underground spaces with curved sweeping corners to ease passenger flow. Four height platform screen doors, not platform edge doors, to separate people from the tracks. 99,000 people uh, per day are expected in the peak to use this from 2019, just short of the 100,000. 24 trains an hour, interchange of course with the district, Hammersmith and City and London Overground. And there's a nice part here, more than just a station, about the art that's here at Whitechapel. A Sunday afternoon in Whitechapel is a new art installation by local artist Chantelle Joff in a series of colourful collages enlarged from her paper cutouts and fixed to the arching platform walls 30 metres below street level. They are inspired by Sunday afternoons the artist spent in the neighbourhood. Kind of cool. I like the design, but you, you see the holes. I'm just thinking, like, these are going to be really hard to clean, right? Because dirt is going to get in there, right? Who the heck is going to get a rag and clean out every single tiny hole? So, I'm very happy. I've got my white chapel oyster wallets. Uh, a couple of interesting things. Um, the Crossroad Press Desk have told me that since I made a video last time saying that these oyster wallets were available, loads of people have been in touch saying, can I have a complete set of oyster wallets? And they're not out there because, because Abbey Wood, technically not a new build, it was a rebuild. There were nine new stations in the core and then Abbey Wood was just a rebuild of an existing station. But Abbey Wood's oyster wallets have already been and gone. So um, they're not out there. So if you see an Abbey Wood oyster wallet on eBay, that's worth loads of money um, but I'm going for the nine but interestingly what I've just found out been chatting to one of the construction workers here uh, there's a Tottenham Court Road open day on Monday so today Saturday so two days after there'll be a video from TCR but there isn't going to be one uh, at Paddington, at Bond Street, or at Woolwich those three stations aren't having open dates so I don't know where I'm going to get the oyster wallets from. Anyway, don't hassle the press team for oyster wallets. Go to the events and pick them up yourself or, or, or just trade them online. So in terms of station layout, the overground is the bottom of the pile running north to south. Then the subsurface underground comes in with the district and Hammersmith and City lines curving in from the south and then curving out again. The new purple lines are way down below both of these with a crossover just to the west by the way. And then the brand new ticketing hall area has been slapped right on top with access to all via the lifts, escalators and steps. Steps which I've now got to climb back up again. So that is it, we're back, oh, ow, into the sun, it is sunny, more steps, more steps. What I'm taking away from Whitechapel is that there's a lot of steps.